Now, millions of people step onto planes thinking about leg room and luggage, but few think about the air they breathe. And according to a study, airline passengers are breathing in very high levels of tiny pollution particles during key parts of a flight. These ultra-fine particles are so small, we cannot see them. Most air monitors miss them, and current rules hardly co cover them. Now, the study found that inside aircraft pollution in the cabin stayed low while planes flew at cruising height in clean air. But on the ground, it was a different story. Ultrafine particle levels climbed the most during boarding and taxing, averaging more than twice the World Health Organization's high level. The polluted air slowly cleared after takeoff, but particle levels rose again as planes approached landing. Ultra-fine particles are airborne particles smaller than 0.1 micrometers or 100 nanometers in diameter. These nanoparticles dominate ambient air pollution by number but have low mass. Plane engines burn fuel and, these, and release these particles during taxing. Car exhaust pumps them out on roads and factories spew them from high heat processes. No health experts, including the World Health Organization and the Dutch Health Council, have already warned that these ultra-fine particles can harm our health. Dozens of studies link them to lung inflammation, high blood pressure, heart disease and impaired fetal growth. The concern is not just for passengers. According to study, more than 2 million workers at airports worldwide may be exposed to this air every day. Yet, a recent review found very little research on the health impact on these staff.